demons recognize authority. Amen. Mm -hmm. They recognize authority. We can see that many times, even throughout the scripture, right? Many scriptures um, in Mark chapter 1, when Jesus went and he um, was actually teaching in the synagogue, and then there's that man that had the unclean spirit rose up and, and spoke and it said, who are you? Like, why are you here? I know who you are, you know, the son of God, you know, and, and, and so Jesus was doing what he was doing and the demons recognized the authority in Jesus. The demons recognize authority. They recognize authority. And when you walk in authority, they recognize the authority that you carry as well. And just like this demon rose up, it was an unclean spirit. And he said, oh, my gosh, we know who you are. You're the son of God. Right? And he was tormenting her to tremble. And immediately Jesus spoke to it and said, be quiet, which means to be muzzled. Be quiet. Be muzzled. Be quiet. It, you know, you, you don't get that option to speak. And he cast it out. He told it to leave. And it left. It was shrieking and trembling. And it, he, he said to be quiet, but, in it, but it with a loud voice. Jesus said for it to be quiet, but with a loud voice, the demon left. Amen. The bottom line is the demon left. The bottom line is, is when you tell a spirit to leave, and when you tell it to be quiet and then leave, and then that demon gets louder, you keep standing in your authority because it has to leave. It did it to Jesus. You think he's not going to do it to you? It did it to Jesus, but yet he stood in his rightful place, rightful position, and it left. Demons recognize authority. Is authority recognizing the demonic? You all walk in the authority of God because you're all sons of God, sons and daughters of the king. So we know that demons recognize authority. I already gave you a biblical reference, and we've all seen it happen. But is authority recognizing the demonic? Are you recognizing when it's a demonic activity? You must recognize it. We have to recognize it. So here's the prophetic word that God gave me a couple days ago. Gone are the days where what was in clear sight was not visible to you. Gone are the days when what was in clear sight was not visible to you. It was visible to other people, but it wasn't visible to you. Gone are those days. For in this season, you shall now see. And this is the body of Christ that God has called me to pastor. In this season, you shall now see, saith the Lord. Your eyes are being opened up to what maybe you were blinded to in the past. But in this season, you shall see. And when you start to see, you walk that way for the rest of your life. In other words, you don't go backwards. Well, sometimes you go, oh, in this season, well, what happens in the next season? When you start walking with God's sight, you don't lose it. You don't leave it. You know the difference. And so if something was to come about that you, that all of a sudden you can't see because you've already tasted and seen the goodness of God, you don't go back to the same old, same old. You continue to press in until you see. Your eyes are opened to the spiritual realm. An increase of his authority is upon you. And if you will remain in your convictions, if you will remain where God has positioned you, if you walk in the light of Christ and recognizing the things that are of God and the things that are not, you are going to see what God has for you. So in other words, don't cower. Number one, don't cower. There's too many people cowering in this season. They're like, oh my goodness, this is happening and that's happening. And then they're hearing about the vaccine, the mandate to, to have these vaccine passports and all these other things. And, oh, it's not just public school. It might be even Christian school. Stop with all of that. Okay, stop. Because really, it's just going to take you down a road. It's going to bring all matter of fear. And, you know, no, you have authority. When you reach that position where you've got to make a decision, the spirit of the living God will be upon your life and you'll know exactly what you need to do. You're going to be a person led by your convictions. But stop listening to everybody and everything and then being worried about what might be. And it may never be. But stop worrying about what might be. Live today. And you need to also calm the people around you in your family when they're starting with all the same old, same old. Yeah, but they said, and they're saying, and they're doing, and they're doing. Stop. The kingdom of God is within you. What did Jesus do when that unclean spirit started to speak? Mute it. Bind it. Muzzle it. But you've got to be able to recognize it's a spirit before you can do that. Recognize, right? So the rest of the word. Do not cower. Do not retract. Do not remove yourself from your God-given appointed positions. People just quick to remove themselves from a God-given appointed position. And then they say it's God. Mm -mm. 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of people just, yeah, it's true. Amen. They're saying it's God, you know. It isn't. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of, there's, and so right now, here's the thing. We have to have our ears and our eyes Amen. so fine-tuned right now. Because if you don't think the accuser of the brethren is working overtime right now. I mean, he's been, and we've been able to keep, you know, we, we know we kept our doors open. Thank you, God. I'm not bragging about this. I'm giving God the glory for it. He's the one that told us to do it. But, you know, don't think for one minute that the enemy isn't trying to be crafty and come in through the back door somehow, once, somehow, some way. He doesn't want your obedience to the Lord. The last thing the enemy wants is you to be obedient to the Lord. And so if you've been obedient, which I know most of you have, and, and, you know, and I don't know all of you, but if you've been obedient to the Lord, and now all of a sudden it's at the tail end, don't take the enemy's bait. Learn to walk with full sight every day. And this is, this is something that you can do, and this is just a practical thing, but this is something we should all be doing every day. Any deception, I command you to come off of me right now. Any spirit of offense, I command you to come off of me right now. In the name of Jesus, all faulty thinking, double-mindedness, I command you to come off of me right now in the name of Jesus. That's just safeguarding yourself, guys. That is just safeguarding yourself so that if anything tries to come about, and trust me, the accuser of the brethren tries. He doesn't want to see you succeed. He doesn't want to see you rise up and, 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 you know, step into your calling. He doesn't want to see you doing what God's called you to do. So he's always trying to plant something. But if we have eyes to see, we're not going to take the bait. And we haven't been taking the bait. But when people are in a battle and the battle's been long, sometimes people get tired and sometimes the enemy finds a way in there and it's the craziest of things. But we continue to stand and pray for one another. Church of God, we've got to pray for one another. So this prophetic word is very, is a very, it's a strong word for those that understand what I'm saying. Listen to the rest of this. The dust will settle. I've told that to my children, even just about this COVID thing. The dust will settle, you guys. Yeah. It, this is not a lifetime sentence. Whatever side you are on on this whole topic, because it's not to condemn anybody, of course. Whatever side you're on, you're okay with it, you're not okay with it. The dust is going to settle. All this craziness, all this divisiveness, we cannot tolerate it as a body of Christ. Really? Live by your own convictions. And let other people live by theirs. But live by your own convictions. And that's the point here. And so the dust will settle. And I decree over you, as you stand in obedience to the Lord, you will see yourself above the assignment that tried to take you out. There are assignments that are trying to take you out. That's why we pray for you guys. We pray for you. And I also appreciate you guys praying for us. But the assignment that tried to take you out, Okay, but you will operate from the place of authority that the Lord has given you if you stay in a place of obedience. Yeah.